welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a skincare video for you all. I thought of a million different fancy ways to film this, but I think actually to get the information across properly, it's definitely easier for me to just talk you through it in my bathroom whilst I'm doing it. I am going to show you what I do in the evening today, and it's actually more complex. My evening routine, but because we need some natural daylight, I'm going to be showing you this in the morning. This may or may not be the first video you're seeing with my long hair. Please ignore it at the moment, it's obviously <laughs> just tucked back so it doesn't annoy you guys. Um, starting off with my skin type, I have oily skin which has a tendency towards dehydration. Sometimes that's because I'm don't, i not drinking enough water and sometimes that's because I'm not moisturising enough. I just can't use oils or heavy moisturisers. I have tried it before, I know some of you guys are definitely going to recommend that I um, switch to oil moisturisers but I have used like vitamin E oil before I used to moisturise with jojoba oil um, every night. I have tried that and I've done that for like six months and I've just had the worst breakouts ever and I was like why is my skin breaking out so bad and I was putting oil on every night it just doesn't work for me sadly so I have to use lighter moisturizers but we'll get to that in a minute I'm trying to become more moisturized in life also I have like seasonal changes um, currently my skin's probably the best it's looked for a few months because what happens is I go on my summer holiday, I get lots of sun, my skin absolutely loves it. I know that you're not, I don't actually put my skin, my like face skin in the sun lots and lots, but my face just really likes the climate or something's, something happens when it sees sun um, and it just really loves it. And then it's kind of clear, generally relatively clear up until like January time. And then my skin just becomes a bit more blemishy until I go back on a summer holiday. Um, sometimes it gets slightly better in um, springtime, but yeah, it's weird. I don't know, does anyone else have seasonal acne like that? Please let me know. I don't know, it's gotta be a combination of all sorts of things, whether it's climate and central heating, or whether it's not getting any vitamin D, or whether it's because I don't drink as much water as I do in the summertime in winter, or my diet in general is just kind of heavier in winter, um, whatever it is, yeah. In ja by January time, it usually just kind of starts breaking out a little bit. But I've got some new products in my routine which I'm loving and I think I'm, are really helping me through this period until I get back in the sunshine again. Um, so yeah, I also have skin that's very reactive to certain ingredients, um, so I have to be pretty careful about what I'm using. I try and steer clear of dimethicones and silicones as much as I can, um, although I'm realising that I could probably use them a little bit now and that things like oils and stuff are much worse in my skin. Yeah, I use a website called CosDNA, I'll leave it in the down bar, just to check ingredients. Um, it has a huge database of products and it'll tell you kind of how comedogenic they are. Even if they say they're non-comedogenic, sometimes that's just lies so um, I will leave a link to that if you want to check your ingredients out I find that a very useful tool. I just moisturise, I would usually do this before I body moisturise just so I don't get my body moisturiser on my face. Um, my favourite is the Love Beauty Planet one which I will link down below um, but I've run out of it so I'm currently using Palmer's Cocoa Butter. In the shower in the morning I will use this, this is the Medicate Surface Radiance Cleanse Resurfacing AHA slash BHA Mango Steam Cleansing Gel. This is just something I like to use in the shower just to start the day off with a bit of AHA, BHA stuff going on. Also you guys, I usually do my skincare routine after I've been to the gym or done my exercise for the day because that's when I shower and stuff. Um, if you're wondering what I do before, I usually just cleanse either, either with water or micellar water. Um, and then if it does feel a little bit dry, if my skin feels a bit dry, then I'll go and just put a little bit of moisturiser on. So when I get out of the shower, I use the Ordinary Niacinamide 10% Plus Zinc 1% Serum. I have used this for ages and absolutely couldn't live without it. As you guys know, this must be my like 15th bottle or something. Um, I just take a little bit out and pop that onto the skin. Niacinamide is really excellent for acne um, but it's also really good for scarring as a zinc so they call it a blemish formula but I have to say I kind of use it more probably for um, the benefits it has on scarring it'll clear up your scars much quicker and just keep your skin like even toned my skin's feeling a little bit dry because I set this all up after I got out of the shower whereas usually I'd be piling the moisturizer on as soon as I get out then I take the drunk elephant Be Hydra intensive hydration serum 
um, and this is a new addition and I absolutely love it. So this is part of my whole I'm going to moisturise more sort of thing. So even though I'm using quite light serums and moisturisers, I'm using a lot more of them. Like I'm just layering it on a bit thicker. I know it sounds really basic but it's actually doing working wonders for my skin. So it's got vitamin B5, pineapple ceramide, B hydro, I don't know what any of these things are, but I think it's got hyaluronic acid in. Yeah, it's like a cool drink of water for your thirsty skin, this says, and I found it so, so great. It's made a huge difference to my skin. Everything feels smoother. Oh, and of course, I mentioned to you guys, I've started dermaplaning. I actually need to do that soon. I go over my lips and everything. Um, I think that's helped as well, helped everything soak in a bit better and my skin to look really just plump and like healthy looking and then I'm going to use a moisturizer on top of that now I have just run out of my classic Evlon rescue oil free moisturizer this stuff is crazy expensive for the size of the bottle it's tiny so I'm trying out this one it's very similar kind of formula um, that kind of light gel texture um, I think this one's slightly cheaper as well I got this from cult beauty this is the watermelon glow pink juice moisturizer by, I think the brand is Glow Recipe, I think. And you can see, I actually haven't tried this out yet, but I have their sleeping mask as well. I'm trying to introduce products extremely slowly, so if one of them is like a problem product, I don't know about it. But yeah, this comes out like a nice like pink gel. And it's quite a similar texture to the serum, to be honest, but we like to layer them up. It does smell watermelon. I don't personally love watermelon. I don't like to eat it. Um, and I'm not a huge fan of the smell, but it's... So that is literally all I do in the mornings, you guys. You then know, typically I'll be wearing my Bare Minerals, Complexion Rescue, Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream, longest name in the world, um, and the little foundation stick as well, the Complexion Rescue one. So that's kind of skincare as well. Those two products are also really moisturising. Now in the evening, I will start by taking my makeup off with some jojoba oil. This is a big bottle that I recently got um, from Amazon. I've rubbed that into my face. It removes makeup so much easier. I don't leave oil on my face, but in terms of taking makeup off, you just literally can't beat it. I prefer it over balms and stuff as well, because that tends to drag and kind of just get stuck in your eyes and stuff. Whereas like a, an oil like that just takes makeup off so easily. I'll take that off with a flannel, doing a little bit of light exfoliation, nothing too intense. And then I will go over the top just with some micellar water. Um, this is my favourite one, this is the Caudalie one um, because I worked out that whatever one I was using before was not doing anything good for my skin. Then I'll use the Biologique Recherche Lotion P50. This stuff's pretty strong, it's like an acid thing, what do you call them? Like an acid toner I guess but I've never used, really used the word toner. Just pop that into my hand and put that onto my skin. Yeah, this stuff's really strong, I think it, but I think it does a really good job of keeping my skin chemically exfoliated. Then I'll go in with the same combination of um, serums. We've got the Ordinary one and the Drunk Elephant again. Um, I kind of mix up which one I put on first sometimes, but it doesn't really matter. They're both quite similar textures. And then my new favourite product. This is the Shani Darden Resurface Retinol Reform. I shipped this from America. Currently not, this specific Shani Darden product is not available on UK websites that I could find anyway. And it's obviously a retinol, but it's got very few ingredients and no dimethicone, which is so hard to find in a retinol product or, and no oil either. So I think the point of this product was that I think she wanted to create something with really simple ingredients, but that would deliver you the retinol that you need. I do believe it's got niacinamide in it as well, yes it does. And it's really quite gentle, I think this is a 1% retinol, which is quite high, but it's very, very gentle, because I do tend to get a little bit sensitive if I'm using too much in the way of like acids or retinols or whatever. Oh no, it's a 5% retinol, oh no wonder it's working, but it's so gentle, like it's, I think she's using a specific type of retinol that's really not as irritating to the skin so if you do have sensitive skin give this a try introduce it like once a week twice a week every two days every three days whatever and just build up to it i've built up to it now and i use this every night and i think it's made a huge difference to my skin texture blemishes um scarring that the tone of my skin 
all of those things. So I would highly recommend this. I was using the Sesterma before, which is nice. It's more of a gel. This is slightly more of a cream. Um, this smells grim, by the way. Absolutely smells so weird. Don't like the smell of this at all, but I just push through and then use like two or three pumps and it kind of, because it is a cream, it's slightly moisturizing, moisturizing as well, so it does a good job for my overnight moisturization. Um, I don't bother with another moisturizer on top, but you could if you want. Um, but yeah, I used to use this. I do think it's got some ingredients that I'm not so sure about and it wasn't really strong enough. And I reckon this is probably also a little bit more irritating than the Shine Darden product. So yeah, that is my new Holy Grail skincare product. I absolutely love it and I think it's made a huge difference along with the kind of hydrating um, Drunk Elephant product. Huge difference to the appearance of my skin. I feel just lots more confident in it. it just even even if I've got blemishes it just feels and looks healthy um, so yeah love that and then for spots I am using this acne side I got this online this is a 5% benzoyl peroxide the one I got in America which is 10% benzoyl peroxide um, that had loads of bad ingredients in and I was like why did I buy this I should have checked first <laughs> so what is the point in putting benzoyl peroxide on an area and then it breaking you out in the same area. So I bought this one online. Benzoyl peroxide is the best thing for ac like actual spots and acne. Um, I would prefer it to be a 10% just because I feel like it'd be that little bit more effective. Yeah, and this is not gonna kind of make your spots go away, but I do think it makes them go away a bit quicker. So I think that's everything, you guys. I've obviously got a few more things up here. I kind of want to try, but as I said, I'm really into introducing things extremely slowly otherwise you're not going to know what's breaking you out my skin also feels really nice at the moment so i'm like do i need to introduce something else or should i just leave it for now obviously my bare mineral stuff has spf in if not the spf that i really like is the juice beauty spf 30 oil free moisturizer you can get this on free people i know it's a bit of a weird place to get your <laughs> um beauty products this is a non-chemical sunscreen so it's a physical sunscreen which is supposed to be much better for acne um but it does feel heavier and thicker it's full of like zinc basically so it smells delicious it's kind of moisturizing and heavy-ish but not doesn't break me out in such a huge way. Yeah, I love it, but it will give you a bit of a white cast as all physical sunscreens will. So I tend to use this only really on holiday and I'm using the Bare Minerals when like day to day at home. Okay my loves, I think that's everything that I have to share with you. I'm gonna go now. Thank you so much for watching today and I'll see you very soon. Bye.